Derek Huff's wife undergoes emergency cranial surgery. On Thursday, Derek Huff revealed that his wife Haley Urbit was hospitalized for a cranial hematoma and underwent an emergency craniectomy after performing on their Symphony of Dance tour. At the end of last night's tour performance in Washington, D.C., my wife Haley became disoriented and was taken to the hospital, the Dancing with the Stars judge, 38, wrote. She was diagnosed with a cranial hematoma from a burst blood vessel and required an emergency craniectomy. She is in stable condition. I want to thank the first responders and medical personnel who have taken care of and continue to care for her. I ask for your prayers and positivity during this time, Huff added. The health scare has raised many questions about the conditions suffered by 29-year-old Herbert. An intracranial hematoma is a collection of blood within the skull that creates pressure on the brain, according to the Mayo Clinic. It can be caused by a blood vessel that bursts in the brain or by trauma such as a car crash, a fall or accident. This is a potentially life-threatening condition that requires immediate medical attention. Symptoms include severe headache, vomiting, drowsiness or progressive loss of consciousness, dizziness, confusion, slurred speech, paralysis on one side of the body, and more. Herbert's intracranial hematoma was treated with a craniectomy, which is a major brain surgery. According to the Cleveland Clinic, during the procedure, doctors will shave part of the head and cut the skin to expose the skill. A specialized drill is then used to make holes in the bone and remove part of the skull. Doctors can then remove blood clots or clear any excess fluid in order to ease pressure on the brain. The skull is then left open until the swelling or pressure has gone down. Following the surgery, patients will typically be required to wear a helmet to protect their skull until they have a follow-up procedure called the cranioplasty. A cranioplasty is a procedure to replace the part of the skull that was removed during the craniectomy. Recovery time for a craniectomy can take months, and some people may not fully recover, according to the Mayo Clinic. On average, the skull will heal in two months. In some cases, occupational and physical therapy may be necessary after recovery if neurological problems continue.